Morning, welcome to my workshop. This is a short video to say thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. Up to 4,000 subscribers now and 1.2 million views on all my videos. I realise now that I had a bit of diversity in my videos. I had little peds and motorbikes, big bike reviews and fixing and oil changes, some cars and silly things. And so maybe I should have had three odd channels. But I like to be a bit diverse for all my uh, subscribers. So, as you can see, I don't always do little peds and motorbikes like this one here. This is driving me nuts. This is the next video up and coming. This was a simple video, ignition, um, clutch lever, and a static coil, maybe clean the carburetor. It's turned into a nightmare. I now understand that when you see my early videos, which I started with the speed fights, I had five outside, I had parts in here, I had parts in the garage. So when something went wrong, like a regulator, a rectifier, um, uh, a relay, uh, whether it be static coil, carburetor, I had them. Just kept putting them on until I needed it and away I went. This next video after this one, is where I have to buy parts <clears throat> and you realise I send the wrong parts. Cut my teeth. The other video I did this one uh, was Mark 2 and I bought Mark 1 parts. This is a Mark 1 and I ordered a static coil, right year, wrong part came. I realise now what you lot go through when, for me, it was easy for the speed fights, never bikes. But you bought a part and it was the wrong part and the different cog and 100cc and 50cc and so on. So I'm going through it now with these bikes. So as soon as I bought this one, I had a problem with ignition, which is here. No spark. So rather than going for it, I thought, hang about, I remember it. So do watch some of the early videos. I've said this before. Um, YouTubers, thank you. Facebook. I've said this before. I don't answer Facebook, and I'll tell you why. I had three or four people literally every day messaging me. And that's because they're working on the bike. So like, hi Mark, what, love your videos, not your subscribe or anything, love your videos, can you help me? So I'd be like, yeah, sure, and I count what I'm doing, and it's bing, 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 and I had three people, I was out for lunch one day, this is when it came to the head, and my wife said, put the fucking phone down, I was like, what? I had them constantly question marking me, I do hate that, you know, it's a question marking me, because they're working the bike there and then, I know they are, and I'm trying to help them, but of course I'm helping three different people at the same time, and they're after the answers there and then, it just got too much, so I don't answer Facebook, Please don't message me through Facebook, I won't answer. As I say in all my other videos, put your tools back after you finish with them. What's this little lot here? Well, I was working on a BMW 116, my daughter's. And this is a Vanos unit. And this is the timing unit for the Vanos. Don't work on an N40 engine. I've got it fixed, it took a long time. A bit like this video. This is a very, very long video. I do apologise. Again, it just took so long to get a simple couple of things done. And the ending, well, this bike runs now, but I'm only chucking 2.8 volts out of the stator, which is brand new 100 odd pound stator, and I've got rewired ignition. But, you know, it's finished as such. It's running and starting, so I can't go on anymore. Because about a 50 minute video as it is, and I've got to try and edit it down. Hopefully you've noticed my video editing skills are getting better. I'm using a GoPro One at present, a minute of fisheye. Not brilliant for sound, so I'm going to upgrade very soon to uh, hopefully a Hero 4 maybe. You get a separate microphone, hopefully it'll be much better. I'll do some upcoming car videos. It'll be the M40 BMW 116. Mini on there as well, uh, my new daughter's car. My daughter's new car, uh, little mini, she does love that. I'll do a nice little review on both of them cars very soon. Still got the pile of rubbish outside from the uh, nice fella, uh, the SR50. Where am I with that? I got it running um, and it kept dying. I took this little bit out, it actually needs it in. Otherwise I've got to completely rework it because it's been set up that way, carburetor. Normal bikes are just a good restrictor, but for that it seems to work well. So anyway, as I said, thank you so much for watching. Um, as I said, 300 and odd videos on there now. There's got to be something for somebody. I realise when I release a video, if you subscribe, you may get notifications. The tank. Can... Hmm. I realise once you subscribe, YouTube constantly notify you of. I realise when you subscribe, YouTube notify you of all upcoming videos. You may not want that. You can turn notifications off. Please don't unsubscribe. You know, it means a lot to me, my little fan base. I'm going to put all these tools away. I try and give little helpful advice. 
for things, checking oil and doing little bits and bobs. Hopefully that's really helped you. I'm gonna finish this one off now for the long, long video. It's gonna take me ages editing that, as I just said. But that'll be on next, the car reviews, back to the 50. And then whatever else I get in. You know, that's how it works. Keep liking, keep sharing and subscribing. And the T-foot, T-foot. So please keep liking, sharing and subscribing. I've got another t-shirt video coming up as well. Um, I did that earlier on, smaller fan base, maybe I might give away some things as well. Mark Savage signing off. Thank you so much, take care on the roads.